Good morning, everyone. It is early, early, early Saturday morning. It's about 4, 5 a.m. Today, we are heading down to a place you'd never expect me to go for a car you sarcastically would never expect me to get. So, in all seriousness, this morning we're heading down to Odessa, Texas for another Mustang. And I know that's probably the last thing that you wanted me to buy, but as you guys, you gotta let it preheat. As you guys know, I just bought that E36 a while ago and it's already gone. It just wasn't for me. So I did find another Mustang that I'm into that I'm gonna go pick up and hopefully bring home. So I've been talking to the guy for the last couple days. Get that plugged in there. And it does seem like exactly what I'm looking for. However, obviously not seeing the car yet. I'm not 100% sure. So I got the trailer, got the truck. Gonna go ahead and go get some monsters in the garage. And we're gonna go off to Odessa. Good morning, fellas. Another hour and a half later, we are nearing the New Mexico border. I can see the mountains over there in the sunrise. It's beautiful here in South Colorado. And the sun is coming up, which is exciting. So I'll keep you guys updated, but we're making good, good progress. We are in New Mexico, just past the Colorado border. We got six hours left, which ain't bad at all. So we're making good time. It's 8 a.m. Says we'll be there at three with the time change, two without the time change. So not bad, beautiful drive out here. So uh, I got two Mustangs lined up to look at. One that I really, really like, I've been talking about. Um, one that's a little more expensive, but it's completely stock. So if, if something goes wrong with the other one or I don't like it, I have a backup option. Folks, welcome to the great state of Texas. We are finally in Texas and it is, with the time change, it is 10 a.m. So we're gonna go ahead and get there. I mean, we're only just under five hours away. So we're getting close and I'm excited to see the car. So we're almost there, boys. What's going on, everyone? So we're here in Odessa, Texas. We finally made it and uh, I'm filling up the truck right now, just topping it off. And we bought something. Well, I, we as a channel, bought something. I checked it out and I enjoyed it. So, welcome to the channel, the new 2011 Mustang GT. I'm very, very excited about this car. It is all that I wanted, plus a little bit more. And then I also had to give a little bit to get all that I wanted. So, here it is. There's some small inconveniences, but then all around, dude, I love the car. So, I'm very excited about it. And I'm gonna show you guys, but I need to make it back to Lubbock tonight for the hotel, once again, the car. Give me some stock wheels so I don't have to drive with the radials when I get back into Denver. It has a flex fuel tune, so it's on E and then 91 if I so choose. I put it to a permanent 91 tune just because in Denver, we don't have a uh, sufficient amount of E. So yeah, I'm very excited about it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to Lubbock and then I'll show you guys more in detail about the car. But yeah, we're just hopping off the truck right now. And we are racking it up. So, I think drinks, gas, and then the car, obviously, which I'm super excited about. So, stay tuned for more videos of the car because this is what I've been wanting for a, quite some time. Ladies and gents, what is going on? So, we are about 19 minutes out of Lubbock, Texas. The Stang is trailing close behind us. It's it's very beautiful out here. Lots of scenery. <clears throat> anyway, um, we're getting close to the hotel. I'm gonna, um, when I get to the hotel, I'm gonna do a quick walk around of the car, show you guys um, some cool features about it. I am very pleased with it. It does need a little bit here and there. 
However, you get what you pay for, and I got it for a good price, so I had to give some exterior for some uh, engine stuff. It's very, very good mechanical shape, so I uh, was willing to give a little bit of physical stuff that I can easily fix. Good morning, America. We got the sun rising here on the right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful view. We got the Stang falling close behind. We are just a short hop, skip, and a jump over from Denver. So we got one more stop in Amarillo, and then it's the final stretch. So take another look at that beautiful sunrise. Oh my gosh. Texas does it differently, folks. I enjoy that. So, yeah, let's get back to Denver. Enjoy the Stang. All right, boys, so we are back in beautiful Parker, Colorado. It is nice and warm. I had to take off the sweatshirt, so... The Mustang is off the trailer and it is cleaned up. I washed it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys around the car, show you what's wrong with it and all the things done to it. So first off, you'll notice the hood. It's got some really nice welds on here. Um, the roof and side skirts are both painted. And then I'll show you the inside last. The welds. It's got some interesting taillights. I'll probably be switching these out. An exhaust, a rear valence, this light spoiler it's got some small hail damage here on the trunk along with here on the passenger door there's four dents one two three four so those i'll have a pdr guy fix this i can fix so i'll be working on that making some videos on that but aesthetically it's very very um pleasing it's not damaged at all for its age um just the dents on the door and the dents on the trunk if you come in here, you will notice there's some more stuff in here. So it's got all the fun carbon fiber goodies. Nice steering wheel. These buttons do have to be replaced, but that's nothing I can't do. It's got some pillar gauges. All the fun carbon everywhere. It is actually a Roush Stage 1 Mustang, which is kind of cool. So I'm very excited about that. You guys will notice. If you know what it is, you'll know what has up here so i can't show you under the car but it's got a lot of suspension goodies a one-piece drive shaft under here it's full bolt-on you know the intake throttle body it ported 18 manifold injectors all some other fun stuff it's got some two-step as well and then it's also running on flex fuel e85 and 91 right now i have it on full 91 um there's just not enough uh e85 stations in the denver metro to kind of justify going full-time E85, but I very well may be going uh, flex fuel, so we'll see how that goes. And I mean, all around, I'm so happy with this car. It looks beautiful, it performs, and it's it's just it's kind of like my old one. So there it is. If you guys like today's video, please make sure to like, subscribe to see more content to the car. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Got a body like a Show me.